Hey what's up gamers, Cheetah here, bringing you a 100% full game achievement walkthrough for Poppy Playtime Chapter 2. If you haven't played Chapter 1 yet, I recommend watching my other achievement walkthrough for that one first. So this is the second game in the series, this one is quite a bit longer and requires at least two playthroughs to get the full completion, since there is an achievement for completing the game without dying, but then they also have two achievements related to dying, so you can't do both of those in one playthrough sadly. So I'm going to be showing you how to unlock all of the achievements, the VHS tapes, the notes, and the collectible trophies in order to get you the 100%. I'm also going to have timestamps to everything as well. So starting off here, you can skip the intro cutscene by holding down the Y button if you want to. And we're going to turn around. You can toggle your sprint by pressing the left stick in. You want to make sure that you're always sprinting since there is an achievement for completing the game within 45 minutes. So if you ever need to take a break or something, make sure you pause your game so you can still get the speedrun based achievement. So starting off, turn to the right, head through this doorway here. Also in the settings, I turn my brightness to the maximum as well as the sensitivity to help with the mini games. Right here, we're going to take a right and head into this hallway back here. On the ceiling, you need to grab the bar and swing across. Just like that. Continue heading forward in this room here we can knock over the poppy cardboard cutout and that's going to unlock the sweet revenge achievement and then once you have that turn to the right move the barrels away from this doorway here. Just like that and then we can head inside and inside here we can find the key for the door so pick that up off the wall you can grab it with your hand or just pick it up with X. Now we're going to head back the way we came and uh, you don't have to swing across this time if you don't want to you can just use the board on the ground there so just head back the way we came and then just to the right here we can open up the door and then inside here we can find the first three collectibles make sure you pick these up so grab the trophy grab the brown vhs tape and then grab the note make sure you get all three of those since there's an achievement for collecting everything and then just to the right make sure you play the vhs tape there press x to play that and then now just ignore the tape. Again, we have to beat it within 45 minutes, so we can't really watch the tape. Grab the vent there, pull the vent down, and then make your way through the vent. And then in the next room here, we're going to find Poppy. She's going to be hiding behind the cardboard box in here. So again, just like in Chapter 1, we're going to have to activate the coils here using the power. She's blocking the power right now, but once she moves out of the way, we're going to grab that, activate the two coils, and then connect it with that right there. So grab that, go behind the one on the right side, connect it with this one here, and then inside the little hut you can connect it right there. And then now Poppy's going to have some dialogue here, she's going to talk for a bit, and you can actually get a missable achievement here, which is called Bad Listener for Making Poppy Sad. So this achievement obvious, obviously is optional, if you're trying to beat the game within 45 minutes and you didn't get it on your first playthrough, you can just uh, skip this part here. But again, we need the achievement, so what you want to do here is just ignore her. She's going to tell you to climb up using the bar there and head back into the vent. But if you wait long enough, she's going to get upset that you didn't listen to her. And that's going to unlock the bad listener achievement for us. you want to come with me? You're making me sad. Alright, so once you have that achievement there, we can climb back into the vent and make our way back through the office. We're going to head back through the door that we entered, and we're going to take a right. You can just ignore Poppy here again. She's going to talk to us, but just ignore her. Run right past her. Take a right through the doorway here. And then up at the ceiling, you want to use your hands to open up the door. And then again, we're going to have to grab the bar and swing across. So crouch down. Again, make sure you're sprinting. Swing across here. Head straight and open up the door in front of us. We're going to get kind of a little jump scare here. Poppy's going to get grabbed and fall down into the hole. So as soon as she gets grabbed, you want to jump down into the hole and chase her. Alright, so once you get down to the bottom here in the next room on the left side, we're going to have another electrical puzzle. So head inside here, take the bridge on the left side, and then grab the electrical outlet on the right side. Make sure you grab it behind the blue pillar there, and then head around to the other side. Activate the coil there, 
and then make your way back to the other side, activate the second coil, and then you need to jump up on the railing and do a little jump shot and activate the second outlet there, just like that. That'll activate the power, and then we can exit the room, and then we can head through the game station door here. And you want to make your way down the hallway, you want to activate the red button there with your red hand. Mommy's going to come down and spook us. She's going to yank our red hand and take that from us. But uh, we can get our revenge by slapping her, and that will also unlock the talk to the hand achievement. So make sure you hit her a few times and unlock that one there. And then she's going to have a uh, pretty long dialogue here. So I'm just going to let that play out and I'll pick the commentary once she's uh, done chirping away. Once the door opens up, head through, activate the lever on the right side, head through the next door, and then inside this room here over on the left side we can find the golden train trophy in the kind of uh, playground or the playset there. Grab that with your arm, pick that up and that'll unlock the achievement for you and then we can turn to the right and continue heading to the next area. And then up on the ceiling just in front of us here you'll see the next golden trophy. Right up here you can pick this one up as well, grab that another achievement for you and then just in front of us make sure you grab this lever and activate this here that's going to open up the door to the musical memory mini game this mini game is very annoying there's an achievement for completing it without making a single mistake so uh, after some talking here the door will open up just down here and we can head down so this is like your typical kind of kids game you know there's a bunch of different random colors red green yellow blue it'll pop up on screen a color and then you have to memorize the color and uh, it's like a pattern game, you know. But uh, there's an easy method. You could just write the color down <clears throat> on your phone. So once it opens up, head down here. Take a right through the broken hole in the wall. Slightly losing my voice. <clears throat> head down here. Drop through the hole. Turn to the left and follow the path. And then in this room, turn to the right. Activate the lever. And then in the middle, there's kind of this center control center right there you want to activate the button that's beeping red and then make sure you grab the green VHS tape and then in front of us you'll see some popcorn being made and just beside that you want to grab the pipe and straighten that out with your hand and then head back to the control center behind us and then once the second button starts beeping activate that one turn to the left and just over here we can play the green VHS tape place that in there and then turn to the right and just behind the machine back here we can find the next golden trophy. I believe this is the claw trophy. Or no, this is the green hand. Grab that. That'll unlock another achievement for you. And then head back to the control panel or the control center, whatever you want to call it. And then once the next button starts beeping, you want to press that one. And then it's going to be out of paint so we got to go find the paint. Head to the back left kind of where we just were. Back here, there's going to be a staircase. This door will open up in just a second. Head all the way upstairs here. And then you want to make your way onto the conveyor belt. Just over here. Follow the path. And then you'll see the paint coming to us. You want to pick up the paint. And then turn around and take this to the end of the conveyor belt. You'll see a machine up here. You can place the paint in right there. Place the paint in there. Then you can drop down. Head back to the control center you can activate the next red button that's going to paint the hands green for us and then eventually once they're painted green we can activate the final button and that's going to allow us to get a green hand and then what the green hand does for us is we can just uh, control electricity so grab the green hand with the x and then directly in front of us grab some of the electricity That'll power up your hand and then you can turn to the left and you can activate this kind of circuit there 
that'll open up the door for us. And you can head through here. So follow the path. Alright, so in the next room here we have the Musical Memory minigame. This puzzle is random every single playthrough, so sadly you can't just copy what I do. So there's also an achievement for beating it without making any errors, and an easy way to do that is whenever a color appears, just quickly pause your game and write the color down. I'd also recommend that you pause and then watch me do it first, just to be safe. So there's four rounds in total, and they get progressively harder by adding more colors and shapes. If you take too long, the bunny on the ceiling there is going to come down and he's going to kill you, so you have to be pretty quick. Also, make sure you hold down the Y button to skip the cutscene here and save a little bit of time. So in just a second here, the mini game is going to start. If you want to make it even easier, you can pause and you can turn your sensitivity up a little bit, so that way you can kind of press the buttons a little bit quicker. So again, it's just your typical child's memory game. It's going to give you a color. When you see a color, you want to pause, write that color down. And then you can press the button, it's going to give you another color, pause, write your next color down, and then just keep doing that. I believe there's like five or six colors per round. And then uh, once you finish a round, you can delete your note, and then you can start a new one, because it's going to be a new wave. So, you'll see me just pressing these buttons here. And then eventually, once you get to the next wave, it should say saving. You can delete your note and you can start from the uh, beginning here. So you're going to see I got a new color. This is a new wave. So write down your colors. And then for the, uh, I think the second wave or the third wave, they're going to add another color, which will be violet or even white, I think. And that can spawn behind you or to the right. So if you uh, see a new color, just get ready to uh, turn around and find it. It'll be somewhere behind you or on the sides. And then later on, it's going to get even crazier and they start adding symbols. So you're going to see why I recommend writing the colors down. I mean, you could definitely do it without writing the colors down. But see, they added violet. And that's going to be to my right. Behind me. Yep. Just like that. That's the end of that wave there. And then they're going to add even more colors and symbols. I hate the color orange because it looks exactly like the yellow for some reason, but usually the orange is always on the left side. So right here for me they added white and it was on the right side, but I think the spawns might be random every single playthrough, so. Round four. Move. So in round four here they're going to start adding symbols and letters. Alright, and then once you get to the fifth wave here, they're going to play a trick on you. You actually don't have to do any of the button inputs. Instead, there's an emergency button that's going to appear kind of where the uh, the way I'm looking here. you got to quickly press that, and that'll cancel out the minigame, and then that'll be the end of it. And if uh, by luck you happen to do it without making any of the errors for you there, that'll unlock the Memory Master achievement. And sadly, if you didn't get it on your first playthrough, you'll have to completely restart the game since there's no chapter select. And uh, I'm going to be honest, it took me 
three attempts during this recording. I played, I played for 14 minutes, messed up, played for another 14 minutes, messed up, and then I got it on my third attempt, so pretty embarrassing, but uh, it took me three attempts to get this one here. So eventually, uh, she's going to lower the note for you there, make sure you grab the note, and then once she's done talking, you can turn around and you can try to head across the bridge right back here. So we're going to head across the bridge. That's going to fall down. And then just to our right, there's going to be a vent that we can open up here. We can head through here. Once you get to the end here, you can drop down. Over on the left side, you can pick up the next VHS tape. And then just behind us, kind of to the right, there's going to be a dinosaur here with some quotes. You want to keep pressing the red button over and over again until you exhaust all of his quotes. And that's going to unlock the scariest dinosaur achievement. Again, if this is your second playthrough and you're trying to get the speedrun achievement for beating the game within 45 minutes, you can just kind of ignore this just to save the precious seconds. Once you unlock this achievement here, we're going to head down the aisle in front of us. I'm getting a little bit out of myself. It's taking a while here. Any day now? Wow, I don't remember this taking this long. Alright, once you have the achievement, head down the aisle here. We're going to take a left up the staircase. Uh, you can grab the energy if you want to but we don't need it just yet it's going to run out if you turn to the right uh you can play the vhs tape and then grab this lever to activate the machine over here we're going to drop down you want to grab the machine on the ceiling here and we're going to drag that towards us and just beside us here you want to line it up with the trophy right here there's a little trophy here you want to line it up just like that there uh actually maybe a little bit more than that and then head back get the electricity and we're going to activate the claw machine there on the ceiling. That's going to come down and it's going to grab the next collectible trophy for us. So activate that. That'll grab the trophy. And then you want to continue dragging the machine. So just follow the path that it's uh, got for us here. And then once the electricity deactivates, that'll drop the trophy. And we can pick that up. So pick up your trophy. That'll unlock the next achievement for you. And then again, continue dragging the machine. Just follow the path on the ceiling here. Once you get it up top here, don't drag it all the way to the end. Line it up with the dinosaur on the platform right here. We're going to grab the dino next. So line it up with him. And then once you have it lined up, get some more of the electricity. Activate the machine. That'll pick up the dinosaur. And then you want to move the machine. So that way the dinosaur is no longer on this platform here. So pick him up, move the machine, move him out of the way. And then once he's out of the way, you can activate the red button just to our right side here. That'll activate the lift in front of us. And we can use that to jump up top and head to the next area just up here. Up here, we're going to have another electrical puzzle. This one's pretty simple. You want to grab the current on the left side and then we're going to activate the first coil and then quickly step on the platform here. That's going to take us up top. So activate that, step on the platform, take us up top here and then let go of the wire so that way the platform drops down. Crouch down, grab the, the power there, activate the coil up top and then drop down and activate the first one and then you can connect it with here. That'll solve the puzzle, then you can step on the platform or the lift, press the button to write it up top, and then you can drop down and follow the path here.
Once you get up the stairs, grab the chair and move that from the door. And then you can open up the door with X, head through here, make your way up the staircase, make your way up the next set of stairs, and then we're gonna pull the next lift to activate the next mini game. The next mini game is Whack a Wuggy, just like uh, Whack a Mole. Thankfully, this one is a lot easier. There is an achievement for completing this mini game without using the flashlight, so make sure you do not turn your flashlight on. If you want, you can go into the settings and turn the brightness all the way up since this area here is a little bit dark. It also helps to have a headset, that way you can hear where the uh, the huggy wuggies are coming from. So this one's really not too bad. Um, there's no achievement for like beating it without making an error or anything like that. You just have to beat it without uh, turning your flashlight on. So uh, it's just like whack-a-mole. There's some holes left, right, all around you kind of in a circle. You have to turn and uh, punch them with your hand before they make it to you. If you're too late, they will uh, grab you and kill you. But thankfully, in all of my playthroughs, I never died here. So I don't think this one's too hard. Again, you can hold Y to skip the uh, intro cutscene here. And then again, the lights are going to turn off and they're going to start coming through the uh, holes. Got to be ready. You got to punch them. Make sure they don't come out of the holes. Again, like I mentioned earlier, if you have a headset, you can hear exactly where they're coming from. And it'll kind of make things a little bit easier for you. Do not turn your flashlight on. And uh, good luck. Alright, once you finish the minigame, that should unlock two achievements for you, one for completing the minigame, and then another for completing it without using the flashlight. And then from there, Mommy's going to reward us with the next note. She'll uh, put her hand under the vent there and give us that, so make sure you pick that up. Alright, and once she's done talking, make your way into the room here, follow the path in front of us, and then make your way up the spiral staircase. It's kind of tricky, you have to jump on the railing. So jump on the railing, and then make your way up top. And then just up here we can pick up the Huggy Wuggy Trophy, make sure you get that. And then look up towards the ceiling, grab the bar up there, and then pull yourself up to the top. And then once you get up to the top here, there's another cardboard cutout. This is the, uh, the Candy Cat. And we can unlock the Sugar Rush achievement here for pressing the red button over and over again and overfeeding the cat. So just uh, do that there and that'll unlock the achievement for you. No more! 
Alright, once we have that achievement there, we can continue following the path. And not that it matters, but I said that the previous trophy was Huggy Wuggy. It was actually Kissy Missy. So next area here, you want to drop down, follow the path just over here. We're going to take a left, and surprise, surprise, we're going to see Huggy Wuggy. Just kidding, it's Kissy Missy. And uh, she's going to open up the door for us. She's so kind. And once the gate's open, we're going to follow it through. And then in the next area here, we're going to have some more green electrical puzzles. And we're going to meet Barry the cart. So we're going to have to uh, drag Barry through this section here. Before you pick up the electricity... You want to move Barry up to the gate. So grab him, drag him up to the gate. And then once you grab the electricity, you got to be kind of quick. Grab that, <clears throat> activate the first one here, and then step under the gate, and then grab the electricity, activate the next one, step under the gate, and then you can just ignore it and head around. You can activate this shortcut just over here on the left side. Activate that lever, grab Barry, and then bring him into the next room. And then once you get him next to the gate, we're going to have to head back and grab the electricity again. And then just over here, activate the next one. Step under the gate and then grab the electricity. Quickly head to the next one. Activate this one. Step under the gate. And then open up the shortcut. And then again, grab Barry. Bring him all the way to the end here. We're almost done. Before we head back, just to the left, we can grab the next VHS tape. Right here, grab this one, play the tape, and then we're going to grab the electricity and bring it back here. So head all the way back, grab the electricity, be quick, bring it to where we just were by the VHS tape, activate this one here, open up the gate, grab the electricity at the gate, bring it to Barry, and then just behind us where we place that one, grab it back and place it next to Barry. And then that'll open up the gate for you, and you can drag Barry through. And now we're sadly going to send Barry off to his doom, so drag him all the way down the track here, and he's going to open up the barricade for us, but sadly, it's going to send him to his doom. So uh, step out of the way, I don't think he can kill you, but just uh, make sure you're clear of the area. He's going to bust through the barricade there, and uh, sacrifice himself, and now he can follow the path and head through here, drop down the hole. Make your way down the hallway here and then head up the staircase. We're going to take a left and we're going to head up the stairs and then activate the next lever. So we're back in the kind of main hub area with the mini games. So again, just head up here, activate the next lever. This one is going to lead us to the statue mini game. So this one is kind of like red light, green light. Whenever the light is turned on, you cannot move. If you move, PJ, the uh, Pug Pillar is going to get you. And uh, this section is pretty spooky. To make it even worse, during the kind of minigame, there is a golden trophy that we have to collect. If it's your second playthrough and you've already collected the golden trophy, then you can obviously just ignore it. But uh, for this one here, the door is not going to open, so we're going to have to give it a hand. There's a little lever that'll open up and you can grab it and drag it open. And we can make our way downstairs. So head down here. And then head into the room on the right side. We're going to have one more electrical puzzle back here. So this one's kind of tricky. You want to look up towards the ceiling. Pull yourself up here. And then land up top. Grab the electricity. Drop down. And then you want to activate the two coils. As well as pick up the electricity with your green hand. And then switch the current to the right side. And then pull yourself up here. And you can activate the right side. It's a little bit tricky, but once you do that, that'll finish the puzzle for us. And then we can drop down, and we can head back the way we came, and now the door will be unlocked, and we can head through here to the statue's puzzle. 
So again, for this minigame, you cannot move whenever the light is turned on. You can look around, but you cannot walk. If you walk, the Pugapillar is going to chase you and he's going to kill you. So this part is pretty hard, I'd say. I died quite a few times here just practicing it. So uh, if you want, you can, you know, pause your game and you can watch me do it first. Also, hold Y to skip the cutscene here to save a little bit more time. And then uh, the Pug's going to come down here after Mommy's done talking, the gate is going to open up. And you want to run through here as quickly as you can. As soon as the light turns on, stop moving. You can look around. You can turn behind you and see the pug -a pillar coming. But you cannot move. If you walk at all when the light's turned on, he's going to chase you. He's going to kill you instantly. And you'll have to restart. So uh, eventually, once the uh, cutscene's over here, you want to make your way through the maze. And then uh, stop moving as soon as the light turns on. And then in the next area here, you want to climb up the slide. You can jump up it. And then uh, stop at the end. Once the light turns on, get ready to grab one of the rings and then swing yourself across. Try to jump as you land maybe to uh, kind of bounce a little bit further. Stop moving once the light turns on. You can turn around and see him coming. So in the next section here, there's three pipes. We need to enter the one on the far right side, which says hard. Inside here, there is a collectible golden trophy. So uh, <laughs> just uh, make your way through here once it's dark. And again, even when you're in the pipe, the light will keep turning on and off. So just uh, make your way through here. You can hear him coming. Once he gets close to you, you'll hear him coming. It's pretty, pretty creepy. I did die in here quite a few times. So continue making your way. And then in this next hallway here on the left side, there's going to be the golden trophy. You want to pick that up, but then you want to turn to the right. So pick the trophy up, turn to the right. This is the way we need to go. Make sure you uh, stop moving whenever the light turns on. You can also hear it with the music too. The music kind of stops. So just continue making your way through here. And then once you get to the other side, you'll be a little bit safer. There's some cubes that you can jump on to save a little bit of time. So kind of try to parkour your way across. Make sure you continue sprinting once you get to the other side. Make your way onto the cubes. Jump across. Try to jump cube to cube. It'll help you save a little bit of time. Once the light turns on, you can turn back and you can see him coming. It's super creepy. He's super close to us. Continue jumping on the cubes. And then once you get to the end, there's a lever or a, a bar that you can grab onto off in the distance up to my top right. You can see the uh, windows up there. There's a bar that you have to grab. You got to pull yourself up there and then bust through the glass. Before you drop down, there's two collectible notes up here. So don't drop down through that hole there. Make sure on the left and right side you grab both of those collectible notes. Again, make sure you grab both collectible notes on the left and right side before you drop down. Then you can drop down here. You can swing yourself across. And then you can jump for some extra momentum here. I accidentally went way too far. I was like confused. I thought I missed a door. But you actually have to pull yourself up at the end here. So pull yourself up. And then up here, there should be a pathway you can follow. Make your way up top. And then again, look up, pull yourself all the way up top. And then up here, continue following the path. On the left side, there's going to be a vent that you can crouch down and you can follow that. And then in this area here again, look up and pull yourself up one more time. And then in the next area, we're going to turn to the right and we're going to have the water treatment puzzle. There's an achievement for completing this one in eight moves or less. So again, make sure you do exactly what I do. Be careful on the left side here. You want to pick up the note, but do not press the red button. Now on the right side, we're going to press the right side button three times. So one, two, and then three, and it should look just like this here. Drop down directly in front of us, pick up the green VHS tape right there. Turn to the left, head inside this room, and then slightly to the right in front of us, you're gonna see a red button just over here. Press that red button. Turn to the right and look up, you'll see a yellow button, press that one. And then turn towards the door behind us and towards the top right of it, you'll see a blue button, press that. And then just behind us, we can use the lift on the right side or the lever to pull the lift up. Once we get to the top here, directly in front of us, there's going to be a red button. 
activate that one. And then to the right of this, we can find Barry's trophy, rest in peace Barry. That'll unlock the next achievement for us. And then directly behind us, you can do a jump grab and you can grab one of the Bunzo Bunny uh, toys. Make sure you collect that. And then once you have that, we can ride the lift down. So activate the lever on the left side, ride the lift back down, head back the way we came. So head over here, follow the path to the right, and then take the staircase on the right side, head up here. Up here we can place the VHS tape right there. And then now we have to continue the water treatment puzzle. So again, copy exactly what I do. On the right side here, press the red button twice. So once, and then twice. The blue bridge should be on the right side just like that. And then now we're going to press the left button three times. So one, two, and then three. And it should look just like that there. You can drop down, take the path on the right, and we can place our Bunzai Bunny toy right inside here. And then that should unlock the abridged achievement for completing the water treatment puzzle in eight moves or less. And from there, we can head through the doorway in front of us. Crouch down through the vent on the left side and then take the path to the left. And then back here, we're going to have another electrical puzzle. So fall this vent and then we're going to have to swing across to the other side here. Be careful not to fall down and die in the pit. Swing across here and then directly in front of us, grab the electrical outlet and then activate the two coils. And what that's going to do is it's going to lower the grate on the kind of machine here. And then once you release, you want to quickly grab the red VHS tape in the bottom left corner. That'll lower the gate, but you have to be quick and grab that VHS tape. And then now again, reactivate the coils, but this time we're going to grab the green electrical current. So once you release, that'll lower the gate. You can grab the current and you want to quickly swing back across. And then to the left, activate the door here. Head through here, turn to the left. We're going to head back to the electrical trap on the left side here. Reactivate the two coils and then bring it through the doorway that we just came through. You can activate it right there. Apologies, you're going to have to be quick with that, but I'll show you it one more time. You got to come back through here, activate the coils and connect it there. And then once you're done with that, you can play the red VHS tape there that we got. Make sure you do that. And then we can head back through the vent and then we're going to fall down through the vent here. And then this section here is another section where you can die. So mommy's going to come down and she's going to ask us if we want to play hide and seek. And we're basically going to have 10 seconds to run away from her and hide. So I would recommend pausing your game here if you're on a deathless playthrough. However, if this is your first playthrough, there is an achievement for dying to mommy here as soon as uh, she's done counting. So you're going to see me get that. Again, if you're going for a deathless playthrough, please pause or I don't want you to die here, you know. So uh, you're going to see, I'm going to let her kill me. That's going to unlock the bad hiding spot achievement. And then after this, I'll show you what to correctly do. So uh, if you're on a deathless playthrough, obviously don't do this. But that's how you unlock the bad hiding spot achievement. And then I'm going to reload and I'll show you what to do in a real scenario. <clears throat> so once we're reloaded here... Eventually, you want to activate her and then uh, wait for the door to open here. And then as soon as this door opens, we're going to sprint forward. We're going to jump down the staircase. Don't take the stairs, just jump directly down to the bottom. So once the door is open, Quickly head through here, jump down, and then turn to the left slightly, follow this path around to the left. Continue heading this way, kind of follow it around, make sure your flashlight's on, of course. Follow this around to the left again, head into the next room back here, make your way up the staircase, and then there's a hole in the wall you have to jump and crouch through. Again, you can crouch with B if you forgot. Jump up through here, crouch, and then follow this to the left. There's another hole in the wall just over here. You can jump up and crouch through this one, continue sprinting, follow this path here, drop down the vent, 
turn to the left, follow this path down here, and then we're going to turn to the left, just over here, follow this around, activate the lever, and then walk on the conveyor belt through the door here. Be careful, don't fall down the hole down here. There's a trophy that you have to grab before you fall down this hole right here. Make sure you grab that mommy trophy, and then you can drop down the hole. And then once you're dropped down here, just behind us on the ground, make sure you pick up this note. And then once you have that, we can head into the next room just over here. Head through the doorway. And then in this section here, later on, mommy's going to chase us. So real quick, I want to show you the hiding spot. So head through this doorway. And then if you look up towards the ceiling, there's a, a bar that you can grab and you can raise yourself up here and you're going to hide. So that's where we're going to hide later. So keep that in mind. We're going to have to run back here. But for now, activate the red lever, the blue lever, the green lever, and then the yellow one. The door is going to open up and we're going to head through here. Get ready to run backwards and quickly hide up there in the ceiling. So head down here. She's going to spawn in front of us and we're going to have to turn around and run back the other way and hide. So right here, get ready to turn around right now. Turn around run back and then again get ready to look up to the ceiling pull yourself up top and then we're gonna hide up here and uh we can also unlock the is she gone yet achievement you want to hang from the ceiling during the hide and seek section here for 30 seconds so just uh hold up here for a total of 30 seconds to unlock that achievement and then she's also gone for now but she will be back a little bit later so just keep holding on keep holding on keep holding on and then eventually that'll unlock the achievement for you right there and then we can drop down obviously if you're going for a speed run you don't have to do that that's completely optional but now drop down make your way through here follow the path and then in the next area here we can get the your fired achievement for dying to the uh, fire in the furnace so grab the green charge here. If you're going for a deathless playthrough, obviously do not do this. Just pause your game real quick. But uh, if you're trying to get the achievement, you want to activate the furnace there, stand in the fire, and that'll unlock the your fired achievement. And then once we're back, we're going to activate the furnace again, but this time don't go into it. So... Once you're spawned in here, make your way through the hallway, head back to the furnace, grab the green electrical charge, fire up the furnace, so grab that, fire up the furnace, and then just to the left, there's a gear that we need to pick up right there. Make sure you pick up that gear just next to the staircase. Head up the stairs, up here you can place the gear to the right side of the furnace, right there. And then now head back down the stairs and then open up the furnace. Don't step in the flames, but towards the back, you can pick up the yellow gear. So get that. And then directly behind us, uh, later on, we're going to have to hide in the furnace. So make sure you get the doors ready. We are going to have to hide in the furnace. So place the gear right there. Activate this lever on the right side. And then once we head through this doorway, be ready to turn around and run and hide in the furnace since mommy's going to chase us. So... Head across the bridge, she'll be on the right side. Once you see her, quickly turn around, hide in the furnace, shut the doors behind you here. And then you can just chill out and hide for a bit. And then she's gonna leave. But then we have one more chasing section and I'd say this one's pretty hard. It's very easy to die in this next section here, so. Once she's gone, you can open it up and we're gonna head straight. So again, this is another section that I would recommend you pause if you're on a deathless run. If you've already died, you can kind of just do whatever you want. But if you haven't died yet, I would highly recommend watching what you have to do here. So you're going to make your way down here. You're going to activate this lever. And as soon as you activate it, you have to run. So activate this. Turn around and run. There's going to be kind of a linear path laid out in front of us. We're going to take a right here. Follow this down. We're going to take a left into the doorway right there. Follow this down. Drop down. We're going to turn around after dropping. And then take a right through here. Follow this around. We're going to take a left. Avoid the hand. 
take a right, avoid this next hand, and then you're going to instantly have to look up in the next hallway here, and you have to grab the bar and quickly pull yourself up. If you miss at all or hesitate at all, she is going to kill you, and I died there multiple times. Grab this, swing across, and then uh, once you get to this next section here, drop through the hole and you can activate this lever here. So again, that chase section is very unfair. If you hesitate at all, or if you miss grabbing the bar, she's gonna grab you and she's gonna kill you. And that's the end of your playthrough. So <laughs> it sucks. In this next section here, she's gonna chase us. So again, I recommend pausing and watching when I do. You have to grab the blue button and activate the door. She's gonna be behind us. She's gonna uh, chase us. The door is playing a little trick on you. It takes forever to open up. But once it opens up, you want to quickly run into the room, and on the right side, you want to hide and also pull this lever. Pull that lever and hide right here so that way she doesn't kill you. And then if you do all of that, she's uh, done. She's going to die, and now we don't have to deal with her anymore. So, yep, we're done with her, and uh, now you can do a little happy dance. We're almost done with the game here. Thankfully, there's no more enemies that are going to chase us or anything like that, so it'll be just a uh, nice, relaxing stroll. I believe we have one more VHS tape, and then two more notes. I think we're already done with the trophies, but uh, we'll see here in just a minute. Once uh, the hand grabs her and takes her away, the door behind us will open up, and we can head through here. You'll also unlock an achievement. You wanna make your way up the staircase here. Just keep heading all the way up the top here. There's uh, quite a few staircases. And then up here, you'll have to jump across. Then take a left, head through this kind of hallway. And then at the top of this staircase here, pick up the next and final VHS tape. Make sure you play it right there. And then continue uh, continue along here since we're still trying to get the speed run achievement. You'll unlock the achievement for playing the final VHS tape. Head through the door here. Continue across the bridge, follow this path here, and then in the next room, we're going to find Poppy just over here on the left. You want to grab her to get the next note that we need. Grab her, and then on the left and right side, make sure you grab the final two notes. There's one on the left there, and then one on the right there. Make sure you get those. That should unlock the achievement for getting all of the notes. Advent Reader. And then uh, you want to come to this door here and eventually it'll open up once Poppy's done talking. We're going to make our way to the train. So uh, follow this path here, slide down the slide, open up the door in front of us, and then quickly head to the train. You can open up the train by grabbing it with your green hand. So the train puzzle, it is, uh, I believe it might be random every single game, but you can open up your inventory by pressing the back button and it will show you the solutions. So open up the door here, head inside the train. All right, so again, press the back button to open up your inventory, and you can use this note here as the solution. So whatever the four symbols are there, you want to use the X button and activate this arrow on the left side, and then change the four symbols there to match the same four symbols in your inventory. And then scroll over, you should have some colors as well. On the bottom here, you can press X on the circles to change the colors, match the symbols with the colors from left to right on that note there. So for me, it was red, yellow, red, blue. Once you have that, again, pull up your inventory, find the code. For me, the code was 2431. Whatever the code is for you, just uh, click, this, click the symbols in that order. And then uh, you can pull the gold switch to activate the train. And then last but not least, make sure you grab the, the horn there and honk the horn three times to unlock the whistleblower achievement. So I'll go over it one more time for those of you that might not understand. So to do this puzzle, just pull up your inventory look at the note in your inventory there's four characters on there and then uh, you just have to correspond the note with the train so you can use the arrow on the left side change it to the same characters and then for the colors change them to the same colors using the buttons and then again last but not least the code will show you the number to uh, activate them in and then uh yeah that'll activate the train and we're almost done here make sure you again honk the horn three times gonna have a little train ride here a little cutscene we're trying to leave but surprise surprise poppy's not gonna let us leave and that's gonna lead us to chapter three so i'm not 100 percent sure if i'm gonna co cover chapter three or not it is 14.99 so not sure if i want to buy it depending on how good this video does i may cover chapter three so if you would like to see me cover chapter three let me know down in the comments but we're almost done here 
I believe chapter 3 might be a little bit longer than this one. Hopefully not. Hopefully it's easier than this one, because this one was a pain compared to chapter 1. Uh, eventually here, we're going to uh, bring the train to a stop. You have to grab the brake on the left side. And then hopefully you finished it within uh, 45 minutes, and that will unlock the ahead of schedule achievement and then you should also unlock the uh the one for completing the game and then uh you may be missing the achievement for completing the game without dying and then for that one just uh obviously replay the game try your best not to die to uh any of the hard parts and then that one should unlock for you i didn't show the deathless one in this one or in this playthrough since uh you had to get the achievement for dying to mommy and the achievement for dying to the furnace. So I prioritized those ones instead of the uh, deathless one. But yeah, once the uh, brake starts beeping here, you can uh, activate that. And uh, one more thing, if you don't get the speedrun related achievement, you can replay the video. But you can go into the settings and you can change the video playback speed to like 1.25. So that way I go a little bit quicker and then maybe you'll have an easier chance of getting the speedrun achievement. But you will see, I did somehow unlock the speedrun achievement here. There was no editing involved or anything. I actually unlocked it, even though the video is slightly over than 45 minutes, I guess because we uh, died a couple times and then there were some loading screens. Not sure, but that's enough talking. So that'll be your uh, completion besides that one deathless achievement. So that's it. Thanks for watching. Leave a like on the video if the guide was helpful. Subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you next time. Huge shout out to my awesome Patreon and YouTube members, and special thanks to those in tiers 3 and 2, including TimG84, Jax Jags, and Rockmono44.